y'all got my gamer pro right here and i went ahead and hit the menu button right here and then the lights are flashing so now i'm gonna go over to my my puck puck i got right here so i'm gonna hit the button real quick there's a little button on that side you hit the little sync button it's gonna come up like this it's gonna say control panel one and then it's going to say control panel two once it finishes so we'll see what happens here and let me go ahead and uh get this connected and you see all right <clears throat> so on the puck you just hold it in you see it kind of highlight blue and then you see that control control deck number one is already connected now i got to go down and see let me go ahead and hit it and then you hit it on the puck. Now I could probably do, I can do it now since I have the controllers connected. But there's control deck two, hold it in. Okay, there it is, it's pairing it. See if it actually does something. All right. Let me see, since I have the controller connected now, but I want to show you all to do it during the deck. All right, let's see what happens. All right, yeah, so I came through. Now the lights are solid because they were blinking before. So now I should be able to move this. Yeah, so I can move it now, as you can see there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected. And that's all you have to do if you wanna do it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. I'm gonna get this connected and we'll go from there. All right, see y'all here in a minute. y'all, right, got it all set up, got the three. I have the lights off so y'all can actually see that. Uh, so there it is there. And if I move the joystick, you see that it's moving all the way and I have it all the way over here. So, you know, you got your arcade net, you got all the games, and that you can go through. I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep doing that. Go down. There you go. You know, got all your games and everything, and they play pretty good. So, just wanted to show you all that and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, uh, to hook it up to my PC, play some FX3 on it over here on my PC and I have my TV on, my other TV uh, and I'm going to go from there so y'all can see what it looks like uh, on there. I, I can actually turn that monitor so, so that's what I'm going to do here uh, in a few minutes but I just wanted to show y'all that once you get it set up you can actually have it this far because that's how far I am from it. You can be sitting on the couch playing some games if you wanted to. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and get it on the other side so y'all can see what it looks like on uh, hooking it up to a computer. All right, see y'all here. Hey, what's up, y'all? Mad Dad's Gaming coming back at you. I got the Gamer Pro right here. Uh, I got this TV that I actually have it on the mount that can rotate uh, vertical and back uh, to uh, horizontal mode. So I wanted to show y'all what y'all can do if you don't have a pinball, you know, if you don't have a Legends pinball and you, you got the Gamer Pro and you wanted to do something with it. So I'm about to show y'all show y'all that. So here we go. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here and what I actually use. And you probably can see this on the screen. But what I'm going to do, let me move this up. Let me see you in a second. Move this up a little bit. All right, let me pull it in. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I already have, so the other, one of the key programs you're going to have to use is Joy to Key. So when you got Joy to Key, uh, let me see if I can get that a little closer. So y'all can see that. There we go. So once you have Joy to Key, uh, it's going to have, as you already, I already showed y'all before, if you hit the menu button on the Gamer Pro, you'll get, uh, you know, that's where the Bluetooth will come into play if you got a computer. It will Bluetooth it. Make sure you got Bluetooth on your computer. Uh, it'll actually say this. So let me go ahead and check that. Show y'all what it's going to actually say. 
Let me go to Bluetooth real quick. Click on Bluetooth. And it's actually going to, once you connect them, you just click on Add Bluetooth. It's going to show these two right here, which is Connect, uh, sorry, which is uh, Control Deck Player 1, Control Deck Player 2. You click on them, they add, and now they're added here, and you're fine. So now the Control Deck is Bluetooth to your computer. Once you get that done, then you would run Joy to Key. Uh, that's one of the programs there. You run Joy to Key. Go ahead to over here to uh, Joystick. Make sure you save this. Go make sure you say File and Save once you get all these set up. Now, what I did was I looked at the, uh, the settings in Pinball FX and then came over here and kind of hit my buttons, which is you go over here, Options, and you go to re uh, Configure, and then you say Game Controller uh, Properties, and then you double click on this. And if you hit the button, if you hit one of the buttons, you'll see it show up. So I'm gonna do it again, because I hit A, that's my Enter button. So um, I'm gonna hit like B. There you go there. Here it is right there. So I'm just hitting the buttons on here and you will see it start lighting up. All right, and then even the player button, even the A, because I hit A on that. But that's how you kind of do your buttons. You just figure out which ones are which and then you go into, uh, well, I mean, you see what's in FX and then add it to uh, Joy to Key. So I'm about to go back and show you. So. Uh, my joystick one, as you can see, number pad uh, over here, it'll be POV. Uh, POV will be up, down, left, right, so you can actually get that. You just click on it, add it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll show you. So you just click on that, and then you come over here to special assigns, and you see it says uh, right here, left arrow up. I mean, sorry, up arrow for directional. You click on that and hit assign, and then it assigns it up here, and then you're done. And then you just hit OK. And then you just keep going down the line. So one, you see one on when you hit those buttons there. One, I have it for the enter. And then two, I have Z. Three, there's, there's no buttons. Three on here. And then four, V, five, Y, six, N, you know, seven, R, eight, W, nine, B. And that's the flippers. And then 10, B, I mean, 10, M, which is the flipper as well. And then C, button 12 will be the launch button. Okay, so that's how I have it, and I have it set in both of these two. So let me do this one too. That should be C, so I'm going to do it here, C, and OK. So that's going to be the launch ball, okay? And make sure you file and save. Once you do that, you keep this open, okay? So I'm going to just minimize it for right now. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this to portrait mode. So you don't need any, uh, any of the other stuff. I'm just going to do it right now. So if you right click on the desktop, go to display settings, and then you're going to come down. And you're going to say portrait flip. Depends on how you have your uh, how you have your TV mounted. Keep changes, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and change this. Let me pull that back a little bit, and now I'm going to change this. And there you go. So hopefully y'all can see that. Change that. Now to come over here, close out, and now again, Joy the Key is still open because you got to have that for Pinball FX. So I'm gonna double click the FX Pinball, and y'all see it come up. Let me see if I can get. There we go. Go up a little bit. All right, there you go. Now I already have, like I said, I hit A on the button. Yeah. I have that as my enter button, and then it'll go back. So if I hit that, I can keep going back and forth. As you see, I'm, I'm using the joystick, not a mouse. So now, uh, now I'm going to use my mouse, which is, I can go up here with the trackball, and go to tournaments, and, and then go up here. I don't want to do that one. Nope. Let me back out. The reward will be hit to the oh, I do now. My bad. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna click tournament. So we have, you know, UAG's tournament. If y'all ain't in it, y'all should try it out. And then the uh, right here, go in here, and then I'm just gonna. And this is a one ball thing. So one ball tournament. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play. And now, as you can see right here, 
gonna come up. Now you got a full, you got a portrait mode. And you can change the view if you want to, but I'm gonna do that here later once I get into the game before I do it. So if I, if I hit the, my button and I got my launch ball, now I can go ahead and hit the view. So there's the view right there. It's gonna show you the views. Let's go through them so you can see. I think I'm gonna go with that one. So there it is there. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch the ball. Now I'm playing with the sticks. Here we go. Oh, I had that. Oh, come on, don't go down. Oh, don't do it though. Okay. Oh, come on. See, see. <laughs> one ball, one ball. That's it. You know? Ah, the one ball, one ball. I'm going to try it one more time, y'all. One more time. Play again. Go over here. Hit the A. Let's play it again. Go ahead. Let's try. Here we go. Are you serious? Oh, okay, I was about to say, that was messed up. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Okay. This is what you can do, just saying. Here we go. Oh no, come on. Oh, that sucked. That one sucked. Big time. So I just wanted to show y'all what y'all can do. This is the little one ball tournament that we got going on. Uh, appreciate y'all coming to the channel. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. And uh, appreciate you. Peace.